the ramification, the visible impact of what uh, an affordable housing crisis means, and that is homelessness. Specifically here in yes. Los Angeles, it is incredibly visible. Um, there is, of course, Skid Row, uh, and it's and it's um, uh, very present manifestation of the housing crisis. Also, though, in a lot of other areas in town around here, um, you can see them, including um, in one place called Echo Park, uh, which is, as it says, uh, a little park right next to a lake, uh, in fact, on my way downtown. Um, just last week, the city did a sweep there, basically bringing in um, trucks and sanitation workers and forcing people to pick up their tents and moves on, move on, rather. Um, Sam Anderson went over there to check it out. Here's um, part of the tape he got. Tell me your name. Jam Sheet, Manjili. They call me Jam. How old are you? 56 years old. Too late to be living on the street. The sweep is uh, every two weeks. We have no problem with that. But I heard this might be the final sweep. If everybody gets kicked out, they may not be able to go back in. I just wait till they leave 11, 11.30, then I go to my tent, you know crawl into my tent. I'm, that's not a life, you know. So the police were here last night and you were sort of waiting for them to leave yes. before you went to sleep? Yes. I mean, they are friendly, but still, you know, I'm not here by choice, you know. Right. Nobody wants to be homeless. It's no fun. It's not camping. Don't get it wrong. This is because people say, oh, yeah, you brought on yourself. No, things can happen to every one of us. It's terrible to be homeless, believe me. I could never get used to it. So here's the thing about Jam, as uh, he is known. He used to own a business, lived in Hawaii, mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. had uh, a life and a thing that um, he did, and then uh, became homeless because of uh, business mishaps, right? And then here he is in California living on the streets, and it's a thing that can happen to anybody. Yeah, and I think that's the part where that realization is starting to become so clear. And the fact that, you know, housing policies that have been historically racist contribute to the fact that it's certainly in and around Oakland and the Bay Area, something like 70 or 80 percent of homeless people are black and brown. And a lot, a, a pretty startling percentage of the people who are homeless in the San Francisco Bay Area have jobs. Literally work and cannot, in some cases, full time and can't afford housing. And, you know, housing advocates and homeless advocates are saying that the the sort of well of compassion is running dry, that donations to mm. food banks and homeless shelters are down because mm. it's such a profound quality of life issue for everyone, obviously the people who are homeless, but also the people who are saying, like in San Francisco, people are putting boulders in front of their houses so that people won't put tents there. Mm. I mean, it's just a like, and, it, and it's, it is devastating cities and devastating human lives. And it just is like so fundamental that we didn't, we wanted to make sure we did not leave that part out of the conversation. 